Hey there, Chris Wells here. Okay, let's go again. Hey there, Chris Wells here. So excited to be here making you some new tutorials here at Light. What? What? Hey there, hey there, hey there. Hey there, Chris Wells here. Hey there, Chris Wells here. So excited to be doing a new tutorial here at Lightworks. Focus, yeah. Hey there, Chris Wells here. So excited to be doing a new tutorial here at Lightworks. Okay, so today we're going to be doing one of the oldest special effects that ever existed in film, which is essentially layering two bits of footage on top of each other. So we see here we've got the CCTV from my house that's definitely real. I'm just going to drag that and put that on the timeline. And as you can see, I walk there and then bam, ghost. Definitely not me in a sheet. So we have this footage and as you'll see, it's from a fixed position. It's on a tripod. Two, it's exactly the same shot. It was filmed in tandem. So nothing else changes in this frame aside from the ghost, the main subject here. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to align this up. There we go. Just using the keyboard to get to the exact frame. Bam. Right. So now I'm going to press C, which is going to split the clip into two clips right here. I'm just going to delete the audio, clicking the audio and deleting them because there's no audio in this clip. So now I'm going to drag this along here. Let's go from here. Look, right. Just going to trim it so the movement is as spooky as possible. So now we've got a bit of spooky movement here. Look at that. Very spooky. Now, obviously, these are two completely separate shots. And because this is now layered on top on a different video track, we've got track one, which is this. And then we've got track two, which is the main plate of me walking along here and then ghost. So what we need to do now is find a way to basically cut out the part of the shot that is the ghost and then layer it on top. So obviously the shots are already layered, but if we go along here to effects and to transform 3D, on older versions of Lightworks, this is called 3D DVE, or you can also use 2D DVE or any other effects. Most of them have mask settings. So let me just drag this and plonk this on top. So now we've got the effect here on the top layer of the ghost. And now I'm gonna go down and see here, we've got the mask settings and I'm just gonna click this little symbol here and it will allow me to basically click and then start cutting out where I want to cut out. So I'm just going to basically cut out almost a shape of the whole frame. So you won't really see much of a difference, but if I drag this back, so then we have me look there so that you can see here, we've got quite a hard <laughs> line of where 
this one shot starts and this other shot ends. But that's okay, because what we can do is we can just realign this footage here. So there, so I'm about here, so let's just drag this along a bit more. And now if I play it, bam. So as you can see, because of the shadow, the shadow of me here, kind of, you can very much see the hard line of the mask. So what I'm going to do, if we go down to the mask settings here, you'll see that there is a softness setting. And if I turn that up, that starts to blur the edges. It starts to add a nice little feather on how hard that line is. So the softness all the way down, look, it's a, it's a hard line. But if I turn the softness up just a little bit, just a bit of the percentage, it will feather it to kind of help blend it in. You know, shadows normally have little feathered edges. So now let's just play this and we see the ghost moves along here. Oh, and we'll see here, look. Actually, let's move this mask so we can just click on the little bits of the mask. There we go. Let's expand the mask out. Let's just make sure... I don't, oh look, I, I blend in just a bit too much here, the shadow, look, you can see the softness of the mask here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the footage along a bit more, so I walk here, and then ghost, and obviously, really, this is just me twice, but because we've layered the shots like this, it's allowed, you know what, I'm going to trim this down, we need, we need less ghost, you know, let's give, let's give the audience less, not more, let's keep them thinking, you know, so, ghost. I'm just going to give it a bit of a trim. Ghost. Let's try and layer it. Ghost. And then the ghost walks. Look at that. Perfect. So I walk and then... Oh, okay. So that's where... So maybe let's just move the mask back a bit. Play it now. There we go can't even tell so now what I'm gonna do so now we have me walking and then we have the ghost effect here which already looked pretty good like we have me and then we have ghost here so what I want to do now is add in a transition to kind of blend it in more so I don't just like and I'm just gonna put a dissolve at the start so then hopefully if I press play Look at that, the ghost just appears. And then let's add another dissolve at the end to kind of fade it away. Let's have a look how that looks. Terrifying. Now obviously this ghost image here is also, you know, ghosts aren't completely opaque. So then the other thing that we can do is change the opacity of that layer here. So we can just completely make it zero, or we can just, let's just put it maybe at seven let's do let's do 53 that looks quite ghosty doesn't it so now we have me and then we have the ghost appear and the ghost is there looking all spooky and then the ghost disappears okay so let's just play all that back and see how it looks so we have me doing a walk oh no hope there's no ghosts here and then there is a ghost here but i don't notice there we go and then the ghost disappears again as ghosts are known to do. And there we go, that is just one of the ways that you can make a spooky ghost effect in Lightworks. I fully implore you to just go and have a play and have some fun because the masks is such a powerful tool in Lightworks and you can do so many amazing things. Done! There we go. It's over, right? Can I go back to work now? The game isn't over yet, Chris. And I'm having so much fun running the Lightworks website. Until next time. No. No. No! <laughs>